Okay, so last time we learned that we can take the limit of a function, let's say 2x1, as x goes to 0, right? We can take this in two ways. We can just plug in x equals 0 into this, get 2 times 1 equals 1, or we can take, you know, a sequence of numbers, right? x equals 0 1, x equals 0 0.01, Zero one, right, and saying, okay, well, this gives me point zero zero two plus one. This gives me, you know, one point zero zero two. This one gives me one zero two one point zero two, right, and they look like they're going to one, and we can take the limit of our sequence like that, right? Or we could just plug in x equals zero into the function, which is obviously the easier of the two methods, right? Plug it in. Okay, so there's two two ways to evaluate this limit. Plug in x equals zero, and two take a sequence of approaching values and guess, right? Guess the limit, right? This one is obviously much easier. But we can't always do this. But when can we do this? Right? When can we use method one to evaluate the limit? Right. Well, we can use that to evaluate a limit whenever the function is continuous at that point. Okay, so what does continuous mean? Continuous in u us at that point where you're trying to take the limit. So what does continuous mean? Well, the basic definition is have my graph function continuous function is a function that I can draw without lifting my pencil. So okay, this is a continuous function because I didn't lift a pencil when I was drawing it. One. And this one here would not be a continuous. I go this, right? Every time I lift up my pencil, I now have a different function. Okay, a discontinuous function because there's these jumps in my function values as I approach different points. So the limit of this function as I go to this point here, right, where it's not continuous, right, the limit from one side would be one value, the limit from another side would be a different value, right? Or if I had a function that had a hole in it, right? So like the one we had last week, we had one that was pretty much linear, and then it had a hole at a certain point. Right, so this would be discontinuous because this point isn't defined for the function. Right? And so I had to pick up my pencil to draw the graph of that function. Okay? And well, technically, you know, we would say that function f of x is continuous at a point x equals a if the limit at that point a f of x, the limit of our function as x goes to that point, is equal to the function value at that point. Okay, that's what it means uh, for it to be continuous at a point, and then f is continuous, right? It is a continuous function if it is continuous at every point in its domain. So, you know, basic continuous functions are, you know, the functions that we were able to plug in our limits for. So, you know, some basic continuous functions are given by very simple functions that we saw that we can compute the limits pretty simply for. Okay. So, you know, one would be the constant function, right? f of x equals e, constant function. 
And if it's constant, then it's going to be continuous, right? A constant function I can just draw here. Exceed constant function. I never have to pick up my pen. Right? It's continuous. Another basic continuous function would be the identity function. Identity function, right? Y equals x, f of x, x, right? We saw before that when a function was just x, then limits at any point was just the value at that point. Right? So this is a continuous function. Continuous at all points, right? The limit of this function as x goes to any point a is just going to be the value of the function. Some other basic ones are the exponential, f of x equals to the x is continuous function, right? We can draw that. Is e to the x, something like that. It is continuous. I don't have to pick up my pencil to draw it. Um, the you know logarithm logarithm function, logarithmic function, right? F of x, ln of x is continuous. On its domain, so it's only for positive x, right? Because for zero and negative x's, it's not defined, so it's not continuous where it's not defined. Okay, and you know, basic trigonometric cosine of x and sine of x are continuous. Fine. Okay, and then by using some basic properties. Properties of combining functions. Right? If f of x and g of x continuous at a point, x equals a, then that means that f of x plus g of x is continuous at a. Right, because by uh, properties of limits, limit of a sum is the sum of the limits. So then our definition of continuity will hold at that point for the sum of these. Right? If I multiply them together, f of x times g of x is also going to be continuous. I'm going to abbreviate this as c o n t apostrophe s stands for continuous. Underline this, please. That means the same thing, right? At x equals a. Um, and then the other property is as long as g of a is not zero, then f of x to g of x is continuous. Okay, right? As long as I'm not dividing by zero, then this function is continuous when I divide them. And then this last property is just if f is continuous at a, sorry, x equals g of a, right? So whatever the value of g is, so g is continuous at a, and then f is continuous at g of a. So then that means that the composition f of x is continuous at equals right? and so f of g of x remember right this is the same thing as f of g of x right so g is continuous at a and this is nice and continuous and then f is continuous at g of a which is going to be on the inside okay then with these basic uh, functions basic continuous functions and Properties of continuous functions. We can basically say that a whole range of common functions are continuous. Right? We know that linear functions are continuous. Right? If I just combine the constant and the uh, identity function, right? So any function f of x equals m x t. Right? Those are continuous for all x, right? 
polynomials are continuous. All right, so anything that's like ax n plus one plus dot dot. constant right any polynomial is continuous because it's just going to be a product and sum of those basic continuous functions okay um, some other continuous functions are any any exponential right so any right any e to some power alpha x right so this is the same thing as you know from r to the x or alpha equals ln of r right so any of these are continuous um any cosine right and any logarithm are continuous okay cool and so we'll stop here and then i'll, I'll have another video about when things aren't continuous